everyone welcome to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial I will be showing you how to download water bodies data from USGS Earth Explorer. So once you open your browser just type in Earth Explorer and hit the button search and in the first result you can find Earth Explorer. Just click on the link. Now, in order to download any sort of data, first you need to create an account in USGS. So, if you don't have an account, I have made a video for it how to create an account in USGS. You can just follow it up and uh, easily create an account in Earth Explorer. So, let us uh, go to the uh, topic. So, once you have come to the browser, uh, the main page, here go to the option login. So, we can't download any sort of data if you don't log in and put your username and password and hit the button sign in now first of all we need to choose the area which we are interested in so i am going to choose an area so i am going to select chennai as my area so you can see few water bodies are there for in chennai so i am going to plot by clicking on the screen I can plot like this and make a polygon so this is the area which I am interested in so I need the water bodies from this area so I have chosen the area the next option is we need to go to the option data sets here we are going to find the water bodies data set just come down and you can see the option digital elevation once again come down you can find SRTM and under SRTM you can find SRTM water body data just click it and hit the button search once you have hit the button search now you can see over here uh, results are arrived and if you click on the uh, this foot it will show the footprints how much area the scene covers so two scenes are there uh, so let me show you the first scene let me download this data first and uh, let us see how it looks like hit the button download so it may take a few seconds to download automatically so you can see here within a few seconds it has just downloaded so let me show it to you in the folder so this is how the data looks like and let me extract the data over here data over here install okay now let me go back to the QGIS and now let me add the data over here so click the vector and here browse and we need to open the DBF file select it, open it and add it finished so you can see over here so this is the uh, data which we have downloaded so you can see uh, small water bodies are also available you can uh, find uh, very small water bodies in this uh, data sets so let me show you in the uh, yeah let me add the base map so that we can visualize how it looks like and uh, you can see the water bodies You can see the water bodies but uh, you can also find many of the water bodies are missing that also you can find and uh, this is uh, this data has been uh, collected uh, maybe sometimes the water uh, water in the water body might be very very less so you can see the difference in the boundary so please do uh, keep it in mind and uh, download accordingly you can just see here so during the accusation time the water might be only this uh, only uh, it might be at this level so it has been covered only this part of the water body uh, just keep that in mind and uh, you are not getting the entire water bodies you can see a lot of water bodies are there but we are getting just few you just uh, also keep that in mind while uh, using this data you can see So if you have any doubts in this, please do ask in the comments. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Please do subscribe the channel. Goodbye everyone.